How you doing? How you been? I'm so glad to see you again. Welcome to Reading Ready Time, everybody. Are you ready to have some fun at the library? I am. I'm already at the library. But you know what? The library is closed right now. So I can be really loud and I don't have to worry about bothering anyone. I can even be here without my mask on. Normally you have to wear one to be safe. All right, are you guys ready to get started? Are you in a good position? I know I am. All right, here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quietly as we can. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loudly as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slowly as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello, hello. And grownups, did you know that when you play with rhythm and you use words, it slows things down so that kids can actually hear the sounds and the letters that make up the words. So it's great practice. All right, today, Amazon John with Silly Safaris is back. And he is going to talk about bugs, also known as insects, and the animals that eat them. Lots of animals eat bugs. Did you know people eat bugs too? In some countries they do. To us, that seems weird, doesn't it? Some of you might think that's gross, but in a lot of places, it's totally normal. Isn't it great how people are different all around the world? What we eat is different, but guess what? We all have to eat, right? Where we sleep is different, but guess what? We all have to sleep. How we play might be different, but guess what? We all have to play. Very cool. Anyway, let's hear from Amazon John and see some cool bugs. She's got a bug in her bonnet. Am I bugging you? Are you a bookworm? Psst. Can I put a bug in your ear? Bug off, like a moth to the flame. That librarian is such a busy bee. He's been bitten by the bug. I think she caught the flu bug. Well, you are as snug as a bug in a rug. Hey guys, I'm Amazon John here in the Silly Safari Studios with your favorite animal. It's a bug. He is a bug. Uh, hello, don't insects have antenna? Yes, they do. Don't insects have big fat heads, big giant heads? Yes, they do. And how many legs does an insect have? Six, count them with me. One, two, three, four. Hey, you only have four legs. You told me you were a bug. You're not a bug, you're a dog. And do you know what kind of dog he is? He's called a bug. He is a Boston Terrier pug mix but he's not a bug like we're going to learn about today. <laughs> His name is Bugsy. He's a good boy. Hey everyone, I want you to meet a good friend of mine. This is Francis. Say hi. We call him St. Francis because he's a praying mantis. He's praying that another insect will come close by so he can prey on it. Sometimes insects eat other insects. What do you think? 
Is Francis an insect? You're right. Yay! <laughs> he is an insect. Uh, oh, wait. Look at that. I see a baby raccoon. <laughs> Sometimes baby raccoons eat insects. Is the raccoon an insect? No. <laughs> You're right. He's not an insect. But he is fast. If he can catch a bug. Oh. He's fast. <laughs> you know, it might be a good idea if we count all the ways that an insect is an insect. Can you help me out with that, Francis? Okay. First, friends, insects have one skeleton. They don't have bones like you and I do. They're hard bodied shell is called an exoskeleton. They have one exoskeleton. It's why they stay crunchy in milk. Sorry, Francis. <laughs> they have two antenna. Insects have antenna and these antennas are amazing because they help the insect really sense the whole world around them. Insects have three body sections. Check it out. They have, count them with me, a head, they have a chest, a thorax, if you like using big words, thorax, <laughs> and they have a belly, an abdomen, a great big abdomen, kind of like me. <laughs> head, chest, belly, or head, thorax, abdomen. And it's the thorax where all of the legs attach. They have three body sections. They have four wings, at least a true bug does. I mean, at some point in their development, every insect had wings as a baby bug, but look at this. This fly has four wings, two sets of wings, an outer and an inner set. That's what makes a true bug a real bug. <laughs> Just like a sting bug, right? Yeah, are you a true bug? No, but you are an insect. <laughs> See what I mean? All bugs are insects, but not all insects are bugs. Bugs are a really unique type of insect. So they have one exoskeleton, two antenna, three body sections, four wings, and on like a, a lot of bugs, the wings just become part of that outer shell as they grow up. <laughs> they have five senses. It's true. Insects can see very well. Their eyes are amazing. They can see, they can taste, they can smell. <laughs> they use like these chemicals in the wind to smell where everybody is. <laughs> they can hear and of course they can feel. They have five senses, same as you. And insects all have six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. All the ways that insects are amazing. Six legs, five senses, four wings. They have three body sections, two antenna, and this really great outer shell. <laughs> now let's play another game. Are you ready? Okay. Is this an insect? You got it. Yay! A fly is a true bug. <laughs> is this an insect? Look at all those legs. Is it an insect? No, we call it a pill bug, but it's not an insect. We'll talk about him later. Is the ant an insect? Yeah. <laughs> this is my Aunt Betty. <laughs> she lives in Virginia. <laughs> but just like the praying mantis, the ant is an insect. One exoskeleton, two antenna, three body sections. <laughs> it, the queen has wings when she flies, four of them, and they have five senses and, of course, six legs. Ants are insects. Is this an insect? Yeah! I'm trying to trick you. It's actually a baby insect. Insects all lay eggs. 
<laughs> and when the eggs hatch, you get worms. I bet you've read the Hungry Hungry Caterpillar, right? Yeah, well, this guy here, he's a caterpillar, which is a baby butterfly or a moth. I don't know which one you're gonna grow to be, but insects, they have babies too. It may not look like the praying mantis, but he's a bug too, just a baby bug. And wait a second, is, is this guy an insect? Uh, oh, wow, she's been here the whole time. Does she have six legs? No, spiders have eight legs. And we'll get to that in just a minute too. Hey everybody, look, it's my friend. Click the beetle. <laughs> Click beetle, he's a true bug. Let's learn more about bugs. Well, hey friends, my name's Hops, cause I'm a grasshopper. <laughs> and I'm just sitting here on some barley, you know, eating them, cause I eat plants, <laughs> hops and barley. <laughs> and I'm a grasshopper. And, wait, wait, why is my mouth moving like that? That's not how an insect's mouth moves. Oh well, readers, this is story time, so work with me, people. Use your imagination, unless, Unless Amazon John can find a way to show you some bugs really up close and personal. Would you like that? Okay, let's go. Have fun. Hey, I want you to meet some of my friends. Check it out. It's the Beatles. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm kind of up close and personal now. Maybe it'll be a little bit easier for you to see him if I hold him right there. Look, he's waving to you. <laughs> this is called a flowering beetle. I love his antenna. And you can see his head and his chest. I'm holding him by his belly. He's called a flowering beetle because he walks from flower to flower. And as he moves, pollen sticks to his little feet. So he actually helps more flowers to grow. That is one of the most important things that bugs do for us. We wouldn't have the food that we eat and all the beautiful plants and flowers if it weren't for honeybees and even flies and beetles like this blue flowering beetle. He's also called a fainting beetle because when he gets mad or scared, he, he plays dead. Oh no, I killed him. No, I didn't kill him, he's right there, check it out. <laughs> he's just pretending to be dead. It's called playing possum and it's what this guy does so that another animal won't eat him. And there are lots of animals that eat bugs. Whoa, look at that. This is a giant South American cockroach. <laughs> I know you didn't expect to see a cockroach here, did you? But look at the size of that bug as I'm holding him here in my hand. And check it out, this is actually the same bug. This is just a baby bug. When a cockroach comes out of his egg, all insects lay eggs. It doesn't look like the adult cockroach with his wings. Remember what I was telling you? He has this little hard shell. This is a baby bug. You might call him a pupa. Fancy word for baby bug. And the cockroach, he has to shed his exoskeleton several times to become a great big bug. Oh no, look, he's, you can see his antenna <laughs> and his feet. And there's his chest where all of the legs are attached. Yeah, this um, South American cockroach is one of the, whoa, oh, he's fast. <laughs> one of the few bugs that has wings. That's right, this cockroach can fly. And if you've ever lived down south, or if you ever go to, you know, Cuba, the Caribbean, Mexico, Central South America, you will see these guys. They, oh, ah, oh, he's fast. <laughs> they are so fast. How about, I, oh, oh, wait, oh, oh, he's going up my shirt. <laughs> he's a cockroach and ah! Now he's on the computer. He is fast. <laughs> he's got great big wings because he, ah, he can fly. And his defense, it, ew, ew, his defense is to stink. You don't believe me? Here, get up close to the computer and smell that. Yeah. He, um, he makes himself smell really bad so that a lizard or a bird or some other animal won't eat him. <laughs> hey, what else do you think might eat bugs?
Do you hear that? What's that sound? It's a hissing cockroach. <laughs> Look at him. He is great. I'm holding him like this, and as I hold him, he hisses. Psst. That sound he makes, other animals might think it's a snake, and they might not eat him. The hissing cockroach is a very common bug. I love his long antenna, and look at his face. Can you see his face pretty good? Yeah. I think that the hissing cockroaches remind me of the mantids. A cockroach actually is in the mantis family. It's true. This hissing cockroach is from Madagascar. Yeah, they're a great big bug. And if I hold him right there, maybe he'll he'll, he'll, he'll let you see him as he runs and, and, and hisses away. Just to give you an idea of how big he is, that is a great big bug. Hey friends, my name's Spike and I am an African pygmy hedgehog. <laughs> That's right. And I'm in a very special family of animals. We are called Insectivores! <laughs> That's right! Do you know why? What do we eat? Insects! <laughs> we eat bugs and there are a lot of bugs on the planet. In fact, if we went to the playground and played on the seesaw and on one side of the seesaw you put me and all of the other animals. Everyone! But not the insects. We'll put them on the other side of the seesaw. So you have all living things on one side of the seesaw, except for the bugs. We'll put them on the other side of the seesaw and not just which one outnumbers the other one. Which side of the seesaw do you think really weighs more? It's the bugs. It truly is a bug's life. They are everywhere, which is why there are so many animals that eat them. Hey, that reminds me. It's time to play my favorite game. Will he eat worms? All right, it's our favorite new game. Will he eat worms? This is an African bullfrog. And <laughs> he's jumpy. These are called wax worms. You can get these at any bait shop if you have a pet frog or a pet lizard. I'm going to set Bubba Jr. right here. Hopefully you can see him and we'll just see if he eats worms. Oh. He does eat worms and it looks like he loves them too. Here's another one. <laughs> you just saw Bubba Jr. eat a worm. This is a toad. He's called a talented toad. Well, that's our nickname for him. He's actually a smooth-sided toad because he's so smooth right here. Toads and frogs, they're a little bit different, but I wonder, do they both eat worms? Let's find out. And here is a wiggly worm. Will he eat worms? I know he does eat worms. <laughs> you have to see them wiggle. The toad and frog have to know that the worm is alive. It's why the fainting beetle plays dead. Are you gonna eat him? <laughs> he eats worms. Hey friends, you just met Spike the Hedgehog. Check it out. This is his smaller cousin from Madagascar. He's called a ten rec. T e n r e c is how you spell that. Ten rec. It's an even smaller version of a pygmy hedgehog. And let's just see. Will he eat worms? He does eat worms. He likes them too.
everybody, this is Guri. He's a blue tongue skink and he's my absolute favorite lizard here at Silly Safaris. And this is a night crawler. It's an earthworm. Oh, he's wiggly. <laughs> I don't know if you can see him there. He's wiggly. This is uh, uh, not an insect. The waxworms we've been feeding are baby beetles, but this guy here is a very wiggly earthworm. I even read a book once called how to eat fried worms. So let's just see if our blue tongue skink does in fact want to eat a worm. <laughs> he does eat worms. He doesn't run. Hey, check it out, everybody. This is my favorite crow. <laughs> this is Roderick. He's an African pied crow. And we're about to find out if he eats worms. Look at the size of that one. This is a night crawler. It's actually called a green crawler. And remember, not an insect. It's an earthworm. But there are so many animals that will eat a worm. Let's see if birds do. <laughs> That's a much faster worm. I think Roger's more interested in playing with his food. No, no, no. <laughs> he likes those worms. He's like, give me more. Hey, look, I'm holding a tarantula. And uh, is this an insect? No, because we've already covered insects have six legs. How many legs does a spider have? Eight, count them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, I, I think I did something wrong. I counted two things that aren't legs at all. These are mouth parts. So a tarantula, spiders do have eight legs. One, two, three, four on each side. These two things are her mouth parts, help to hold the food still so she can stab it with her fangs. You can see them, they're curved in black right there under those mouth parts, tarantulas are amazing, but they're not insects. In fact, look, as I hold her here, this part is what we call the head chest. <laughs> and this part right here is her abdomen. So where the insects have three body sections, right? The tarantula only has two, the head chest and then the abdomen. Oh, and check this out. Those two things right there are her spinnerets. Sometimes, we can touch the tarantulas and they give us silk. This one isn't doing it today. Her website must be down. 
Haha, <laughs> everybody, check it out. You remember I said we were gonna talk about this guy again? What we call a pill bug isn't really a bug at all. It's actually more like a millipede. <laughs> and this guy isn't an insect either. Too many legs. This guy here, it's a different type of creepy crawly, we might say. But a millipede is called a millipede because for every one of these really cool body sections, the millipede has two sets of legs, two left and two right. It's fun to watch them walk across your hand. They move like a little uh, wave, almost like a, they, they look like the teeth of a comb as she moves across my fingertips. Can you see that, guys? <laughs> and her face, look at her face. Her name is Millie, Millie Peed. <laughs> I'm just glad she's not peeing on me. <laughs> yeah, because it could happen whenever you hold a millipede. That might be one of the things that a bug would do to protect itself, make itself look gross or otherwise taste disgusting. A lot of bugs will poop on you, pee on you, or even, uh, ooh. Ew, make a horrible smell. Millipedes can um, ugh, ooze out this very strong acid smell and it's why a lot of animals don't eat millipedes. By the way, I would never hold a centipede because centipedes are all venomous. They would bite you and sting you and it would hurt, but a millipede only eats plants. So this little girl with all of her legs, she doesn't have a hundred or even a thousand legs. She just has two sets of legs on each of her little body sections. She is amazing. Creepy crawly, but not an insect. Hey friends, I've had so much fun showing you bugs today and some creepy crawlies that aren't bugs, but we also had a fun time looking at the animals that eat them. So now you get to go check out books and maybe you even want to eat some bugs on your own. <laughs> I just hope that you're not the one who gets eaten by a lizard. Have fun. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Keep reading. So in many parts of the world, people do eat bugs and if you eat them like this well you kind of know you're eating a bug <laughs> a preferred way to eat bugs is to grind them into a flower <laughs> cricket flour is high in protein because bugs are very nutritious and with that you could make cookies mmm chocolate chirpy chip <gasps> or you can make banana nut crunch bread <laughs> you wouldn't know the crunch with the flour or I suppose you could just put them in your favorite candy enjoy Bye-bye. Oh my goodness. All those bugs. That was super interesting. I learned something. Did you? Maybe after you watch this, you could talk to one of your friends and tell them what you learned and what's cool. Anyway, I have a bunch of books here and they aren't just about bugs. The characters in them are bugs. Isn't that interesting? Sometimes we take characters, sometimes authors will take a character and make the bug the star of the book. Anyway, there's lots of books at the library that feature bugs. So come on down and check some out. All right, I will see you next time. Let's sing our goodbye song. Are you ready? Stomp, stomp, stomp your feet. Stomp your feet together. Stomp, stomp, stomp your feet. Stomp your feet together. Nod, nod, nod your head. Nod your head together. Nod, nod, nod your head. Nod your head together. Wave, wave, wave goodbye. Wave goodbye together. Wave, wave, wave goodbye. Wave goodbye together. Adios, a theater zane. And a Rivadenchi. See you next time. Bye.